Oh, welcome. So you can see here on the splash screens that they're going to cycle through. NIS America published this and Digital Eclipse developed it. This is the PlayStation 4 version of the SNK 40th Anniversary Collection. The Switch version did release last year, but it just came out on PlayStation 4 on March 19th. So I'm just going to run through everything that's on here, just kind of give you an overview and I'll try some of the games. There are 24 games that are playable. The options, you can see there, change game settings, adjust controls and more. And Museum, it's quite a bit here. It's basically NS SNK's history of game releases up through 1990. So this predates a lot of the 2D fighters it's known for, like the King of Fighters and Fatal Fury, and it predates the Neo Geo console. This is almost exclusively arcade games. There are some console games that did not release in arcades. So what you get, you know, is each, the timeline of each game that was released, and then under it, you can look at a variety of documents and zoom in on them. A lot of them are in Japanese. And then they'll provide you with history as you hit the advance button. I'm not going to go through all of these just a little bit so you can see what, get an idea of how it works. back out of this one. Let's go down the list. Now these aren't all the games that are on the collection. These are just, you know, like I said, information on each one. But the games that are on the collection are here as well. There's 24 of these games that are playable. Now the Switch version has the same games, but when you, if you had bought it at launch, it didn't have all the games on the card. What it had was, like, I don't know, Ten to f maybe a little more, <laughs> but then at launch you had to then download some, and then they weren't even all available at that point. Then you'd have to download, I think, a couple more batches as they got released. But with the PlayStation 4, you get everything on the disc. Now let's click on another one. I'm gonna play this game in a bit. I did not realize this was the sequel to Athena. Athena is also one of the playable games. I'm not too familiar with all of these games. You know, I know the real popular ones like Akari Warriors and its sequels and Time Soldiers. Some of these games are available in the, uh, try to think of the top, ACA. Neo Geo series, I believe it is, or maybe in some of the arcade archives from Hamster Corp. Those get released um, digitally on the consoles. Alright, let me back onto this. But on this collection, you get a lot of variety, not just in the games themselves, but you can play different versions. You can play the Japanese version or the English version on a lot of them. And if there's a console option, you can play the arcade or console version. So I'll show you that in a bit when I get to them. Let me just go through this complete list. You can see what's here. And the bonus features. Again, a lot of Japanese documents. Aren't too many actually under these. I think I just split through all of them before. Like those that I'm not backing out, they're just ending. These are certainly recognizable. A lot of these are magazine ads, I believe, of home versions for the NES. I know I have some of these ads. On the blog, it started as a magazine 
adds project so it's kind of my sort of area of expertise but I don't have I have this ad I don't have too many that go beyond or backfire than the late 80s but I do have this one I'm gonna back out of this and some behind the scenes you can see a newsletter they did again in Japanese guidebooks yeah fun to look at but I don't know that they give any in English so and we have soundtracks for some of the games just play one here I think some of the art, the sound, the audio in this is, some, is probably one of the most fun things that, to just listen to them. Because the sound effects of old arcade games I think are, are great, especially the voice clips. Alright, so. Okay, oh yeah, this. Uh, I don't know why it does it, but it leaves you. And I'm zooming through fast, but I'm going to start at the top. It leaves you where you left off. Like, that must have been where I was when I turned the game off. So if you just let it sit. It'll show a little demo. So I'll do that for each one that I'm not going to play. A lot of shooters. Now, this one's a platform game, but the shooters, you got to like shooters, I think, to really enjoy this. Because a lot of them are, I mean, they're not all the same type of shooters. Like that first one, vertical scrolling, you know, the ship. But the Arcaria Warrior games and Time Soldiers and it's called Guerrilla War or something like that you control two guys walking up the screen more shooters, there's a couple fixed screen shooters some side scrolling shooters this is an on rail shooter the arcade cabinet was light guns but here you just have to obviously you don't have a light gun you have to move a reticle around the screen this is probably another shooter. Yeah, that's it. Like I said, shooters and shooters. So you gotta really like them. There's one fighting game, one side scrolling beat em up. And the next game after this one, Crystalis, that's a console only RPG. So that one. It's going to be much longer than the rest of these. This one would take a long time to play. I took a look at it, but I didn't really know what I was doing. Couldn't even find a weapon. But it's the whole RPG thing. You got to, you know, equipment, inventory to manage, leveling up, getting money to buy stuff. Now another interesting thing is, okay, I'm gonna play this one. It has some funny audio. Yeah, it's really hard. You get an option actually to new game or watch. I'm gonna go new game on this one, but I will show you the watch option, which is another pretty cool feature. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. <laughs> I think that's hilarious. <laughs> Man, this game is hard. I couldn't get very far at all. You have some options on how to view the screen, but to get it clear, this is really the way I guess it's meant to be seen. Here, this game, when you walk, he pulls out the sword, so you gotta walk sideways into the enemy. And there's a gun in the middle of the screen. So if I go up the screen over here, I'll die. I need to be far away to avoid the shots. And we walk up over here. The gun rotates each time I walk. If I walk past up here, it'll shoot again. Yeah, 
that part's easy. The next part I can't, uh, I can't get anywhere. Let's go. Just bang into stuff constantly. Bang these birds, bang into the trees. Oh, got through those. Okay, that's the farthest I've ever made it. <laughs> I only played it a couple times. I'm not entirely sure if I'm supposed to land. Oh. What the heck is that? Let's go. Okay, well that's the end. I was gonna check out let me see the screen stuff if I uh down at the bottom here. I could zoom into it, stretch it. On this filter. And then change the border. Basically remove it or leave it there. And you can check out, it does other controls so you don't have to guess, you can look them up here. Oh yeah, there's a rewind button. So you, you can back up, which is probably what I should have been doing. Wait, let me quit the game. Hold on, I'm hitting all the wrong buttons. <laughs> when you quit, you can save it as well, so obviously not a feature these games originally had. But you can quit at any time, just save where you are. This is another shooter. I do like these kind of games. I've played a bunch. I own Time Soldiers on Sega Master System and Victory Road on Commodore 64. And I could have some of these other ones on Commodore 64. I have so many games on there. So this one, like I said, these are all very similar. It's gonna play Victory Road. It's the one to demo just because I like an audio clip on it. Okay, here we go. It's a Card Warriors 2 Victory Road. I'll play the arcade version. Let me start with Watch. The audio clips at the beginning. So the computer will start it up. Just like that guy taunting. <laughs> he, that plays like non stop when no one's playing the arcade game. So you know, you're walking by the cabinet and he's taunting you to, to play. So here the computer's playing, which is why they're very good. But at any time, you can push the button and just start playing from where the computer left off. So you can resume play that clip playback or start playing. so long. I don't even remember this part. I don't know if I'm supposed to clear all these X's or something. Probably. Well, they're probably not even X's, but it looks like they Back. 
okay, maybe those don't matter. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I'll just throw my grenades. How did that actually blow them up? Okay, well, I'm gonna quit this game. I'll save it. Okay, and there's part three. This one's a bit different. Certainly larger characters. This is another shooter. Yes. It's different because you're a tank. <laughs> but, yeah, I know I keep repeating myself. Shooters. Of course, shooters are. It's not just SNK, there are a ton of shooters in the arcades in the, in the 80s. This game I can't quite figure out. It's a driving game where you have a hand. Yeah, I cannot get to, to grab things. I'm not sure. Maybe you have to time the grab, because this leaving the hand out doesn't work. It's just, you move forward to speed up, you can't hit the side of the road or it blows up. And the game in the arcade does have dual sticks, because that game uses both analog sticks. So it's basically a fixed platform. The stars make it look kind of like you're scrolling, but you're really just sliding across the bottom. Wait, as things drop down. This game, I might as well play it, but I'm terrible at it. <laughs> I've not scored after a couple tries. This is another dual analog stick game. And there are a lot of variations here, or I'll set up if you want to play with up to four people. I think you can. I'm just playing solo on everything. Here, now, let me try easy. Cause I'm so bad at it. So one stick moves the character and the other one swings the paddle. Scored Oh, I scored on easy. I mean, it's tennis and in a way, I mean, obviously you get the ball past the person to score. Just that you're in enclosed box, more or less. Get okay, hit in the head, and the guy falls over. Like that. Okay, I'm still terrible and easy. Never let that go by. <laughs> yeah, computer's much faster than a. Oh, how'd that not score? Well, that one scored. And that one. <laughs> uh. It's great to watch me be terrible at games, right? I never, really never played this before. I never played a lot of these though. I didn't have any arcades near me. Because I grew up in a small town. And out in the hills. So the only arcade is really, if you drive all the way to a mall, I guess they usually had those timeout arcades. Otherwise, I would just play when I usually when we go on a family vacation someplace. Usually, at some sort of arcade. This one is a side-scrolling combat game, I guess. I think you do punch as well. You don't always have ammo, as they're showing there in the demo. Prehistoric Isle, side-scrolling shooter. 
One arcade I have been to a few times is Fun Spot in New Hampshire. I believe it's the largest arcade in this country. Maybe in the world. I think they claim that, but I don't know how you really know. And I did visit Fun Spot last year for the first time in 25 years. Alright, I'm going to play this game. It's going to show you can click between our. You see down at the bottom, I'm hitting the button to switch between the US release and the Japanese release. Some of them have different titles as well. This one's the same, I guess, in both regions. But they'll, they'd swap the title if, if it was different. See, yeah, I went to Fun Spot last year. It was uh, quite an experience. I hadn't been there in a long time, and I just really hadn't been to an arcade in a long time. This character's gonna sing. <laughs> so I'll shut up. Okay, I think she's done singing. Well, maybe it's not even the character, just the song. Yeah. <laughs> you jump up and down between the different levels to kind of avoid getting hit, if you can. Now, same fun spot. A lot of arcade games there, but when I was there, it was surprisingly crowded. When I was younger, in the 80s, it was never really crowded. Unfortunately, they didn't have all the things I wanted to play. Maybe the old arcade or uh, amusement type games that I used to play in the 80s. But they were older than that, like those uh, baseball style pinball machines and the old crane games. They had a lot of modern type amusement games with tickets. That's what most of the kids were playing. And I did take some photos and, um, I don't know how to get through there. For and I did write about it on my blog. So if you ever visit the blog, just, you know, search for Fun Spot. There's an article on it. Okay, I'm probably playing too much, so I will exit this game. Search and rescue. I'm trying to think what this one was. Play oh, another shooter. Might as well start it up. I can't tell from those screens what exactly you do in this game. I don't think I've played it before. I'm not positive. Unless this is the side-scrolling shooter. Maybe it is. I played one that was side-scrolling. I don't remember which title it was. <laughs> Where each of the PlayStation buttons activated the gun. So like the circle button fired forward, square backward. And the triangle fired straight up. No, this is something different. I've never played this. There we go. Yeah, it is another. Walk vertically upward and shoot things. Maybe I could even walk sideways. Like I didn't know if there was a hallway over there, but maybe not. I have to keep backing up though. Oh, what was that? I can jump far. Yeah, there's a 
There's something to the side, but... Yeah, let's see if he can jump over there. Nope. <laughs> I don't know. I guess it's nothing. Oh, I died. It's telling me to put the initials in. Did I only have one life? Okay, well, I'll we'll quit that. This is a fixed screen shooter. Which I also found somewhat difficult. Alright. Alright, I'll try this one. This is the fighting game. You can see the winners don't use drugs. That appeared on a lot of arcade machines in the late 80s. And the guy in white. You don't see the bad guy's life meter. Just my own is the blue blocks up top. You can move, obviously you can see, I can move up and down. It's not just on a, like a single plane on a lot of, like a lot of TD fighters. So you can move around. Takes a lot. He's not down yet, but he's almost. See, he's flashing. Did I get him? Nope. Finally, I think. Yes. Because the SNK ambulance. Take him to the hospital. Alright, I'll exit this one. We got Time Soldiers. Like I said, I got this on a Master System, so I've played it quite a bit. Similar to Kyra Warriors, only you're jumping through time, so get some variety in the enemies. Another tank game. Somewhat similar to one we saw earlier. Oh yeah, this is the game with the uh, I might as well play it. The guns in all directions, I think. It's interesting artwork. <laughs> it's like an old guy with lasers coming out of his eyes. Nineteen eighty one. On voyage. Why does energy things to fly through that gives invincibility, but then he can't shoot? I, you know, I don't know. I assume I'm just supposed to kind of ram through things until I lose it. Be careful. Be careful. Oh, and I crash right into one. Well, so you can shoot in all directions. I guess with the different buttons. Of course, sometimes I forget it's there. I don't think I've ever played a game with... We could do that, but... I don't play a lot of side-scrolling shooters. So I should go in there. I wonder if you're supposed to just dodge them and maybe the shields stay. 
I have no idea. But you could get points for ramming into them. into them. Okay, I'm on a roll, so then I'll crash soon. <laughs> uh. Oh, but I was in the clear. surprised me. Whew. Okay, <laughs> I go right there. And this is the last one. World Wars. And it's another scrolling shooter. Alright, so... I guess they don't all have different regions. There we go, tank and TNK3. You can see the different titles. Time Soldiers is also known as Battlefield in Japan. I think that's pretty cool that they show you the different different titles for each region when there is one. Obviously these aren't changing. Some of them are just in Japanese, but some just are completely different titles. Joyful Road. That's a nice collection. If you like shooters, <laughs> That certainly helps, and it helps if you like SNK too, of course. So, I'm going to end it here. Thanks for watching.